Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to fix the update issue with Breath of the Wild. If you guys followed along in the last video, you guys saw how to uh, play Breath of the Wild, but I know sometimes, like with the update you you downloaded, some people will be getting, or probably everyone will be getting the issues of uh, saying once you load the game, we'll be like, hey, you need to update the game, we're going to shut down, and so you can't, it's unplayable. So what we want to do is we want to load the game, and we'll do that real quick. I don't think you need to go f really far into lo the load of the game. I'll wait to like, uh, I don't know how far exactly we need to go, but I've obviously opened the game before, so, but just, I would just wait to like the main screen, you don't need to play it or anything, but once you get to like the press start or whatnot, we'll go from there, or once you get to the thing, I guess, um, and then what you want to do is you want to open this log file, uh, in the SEMA, the SEMA log file, and I'll take that out here, and as you can see, if you scroll down, or if you look through it, you'll see a thing, called uh, mounting level storage MLC user title and what we want to do is we want to take this number this zero this triple zero fifty thousand I think it is we want to copy it and we want to go into the same the path so we want to we want to go to MLC I've already done this before already so and then user and then title so this shouldn't be here this folder right here but you're gonna to want to make a new folder and name it what what you copied here and once you do that we want to take the second part, the 101C9500, we want to make a new folder inside this that folder, and we want to name it exactly that too. And so this is the update. So now what we want to do is we want to navigate towards um we want to navigate navigate towards the games or where we downloaded and or where we unpacked the Zelda updates. So I unpacked it in my my games uh SSD Zelda. So, so this is the original game, this folder, this 9.64 one here. And this is the update, which is like 2.25 gigs. Yeah. You want to open that. You want to copy this in and just throw it in here. And it will take a while. I guess we can do it right now. Cause, but it takes a while. But yeah, just take it in and I'll fast forward through this part for you. So. Okay, so as we're doing that, actually what we can do is we want to add this. You see this AOC folder? We want to make a new folder in here called AOC, which is add-on content. It's just lowercase. And we want to go back here to the DLC. And we want to do the same thing. So we want to open here. This one won't take as long since it's like 1.3 megs. It should just paste over instantly. And now we're just going to be waiting on this over here. But... And then I will just fast forward through this part here. So, Okay, now that we are done with that, as you can see, we have the AOC, the, the DLC in this folder. And then we have the code slash content of the update and the meta and of the update in this folder. This is in the CMU folder as you are wherever your emulator is. So. Now what we want to do, is I think if you open it now, you're still going to get the same issue even though you put in all this work. What we want to do now is we want to go to the original Zelda game, which is in Zelda for me, and then this one. And you can either type in version, just version over here, or I believe it is in content and then system. Yeah. And then you know, version. And then this is going to pop up. It's gonna, it should be at like 0.9.0. .0. And with the download, but with the update, you want to go to you want to type in just 1.1.0 and then just save. Good to go. And we'll open up Simu again. Open the game. And now we don't get that that issue of please update the game because we have the DLC and we have the update already on loaded. So. But that's how you do it. Hopefully if I helped you out, please consider subscribing. I, I hope that helps. So.